Hello, so this is Kara from Half the Shelves, and today I'm going to be talking about Later by Stephen King. So this is one of his latest book. It's a third installment in a hard case crime book. So, you know, it's like a true crime kind of feel. And knowing Stephen King, let's face it, it's not just a regular true crime. It's going to have some paranormal stuff, right? So what is this about? We have the main character, Jamie Calkin, so who is here, this little kid. So at this point, he's like about 22, 23, and then he's retelling his story of starting about the age of six up until like, you know, 15, 16. So what happened is that he has this gift, all occurs, depending on how you look at it, of seeing dead people. Yeah, so he can see dead people and he can communicate with them and... You know, he doesn't necessarily like it at times because the way he sees dead people is that so however they die, that's how he sees them. So some people have died in a very, very tragic accident or, you know, incident. And and for example, there's this biker who got into a car crash and then his head is pretty much split. And that's what Jamie saw um, as a six year old. And and yeah, if you're six years old and you're seeing that, you're going to be traumatized. And he, you know, he was crying. And of course, at first, his mom didn't want to believe it. Nobody really believes it, right? But then, but then eventually, his mom has to admit that, you know what? You do have this gift. His mom doesn't really want to do anything with it because, I mean, as a parent who doesn't have that gift and your kid has that, like, what are you supposed to do, right? Like, you can't really do anything. Like, how do you support a kid that has such, such a, uh, a gift or a curse? I think she sees it more as a curse. But um, so a little bit about his family. Uh, he has an uncle and he has a mom, a single mom. He doesn't know who his dad is. They are part of this literary um, literary industry. His mom's like a literary agent. And and this will take place about around the same time as that Ponzi scheme that went down where, you know, people uh, were cheated out of the investments that they did. His mom was a, was a victim of that. And his uncle is has Alzheimer's so like he's in a medical medical uh, facility for that so like money is just flying out the window and then they don't really have that much and and on top of that his mom's his mom Jewel which is who is uh, Regis Thomas he's like a he's a fictional character he's an author a famous author at that and he wrote this like amazing sci-fi books um you know in that in that world think of like James Patterson of this time or like Clive Kessler of this time so like he's like that famous in this book and um he died and he died before he was able to write um the last book he wrote like three chapters but like that's it like he didn't finish the book and then you know his mom at this point very desperate because that was her saving grace for her whole family I mean you lost pretty much everything like they have to move to a very sketchy part of New York and she's just desperate so she, she dragged Jamie to go see Regis and pretty much tell pretty much um ask Jamie to you know as Regis about the plot because when you're dead you cannot lie but of course with Stephen King's book right the things are always going to get complicated I'm not going to spoil the end because I want you guys to read it but pretty much um there's a ghost that kind of defies that and and it's got a little complicated because that ghost unlike other ghosts don't want to tell Jamie the truth and on top of that, uh, his mom was seeing uh, this cop named Liz, who turned out to be a dirty cop. And, you know, so things got really complicated. And then Liz knows Jamie's gift. So, like, Liz was also using it to her advantage. And, and it's just kind of a mess. And the way that Stephen King's right is that he pretty much throws out stories after stories. Like, he... And he would gives you all this information and at the end he will tie it all up and and you're just like oh wow okay the all this coming together and the cool thing is you know I gotta say so the whole time I'm reading this book I never got a feeling that 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 uh that Stephen King I don't know how old he is but you know he is pretty old I don't ever get the the feeling that an older person is writing 
or、uh, writing a younger voice. Because this whole time, uh, Jay, at the, like I said, at this point, Jamie is like twenty three, and I just feel like I'm reading some twenty year old, oh, um. Retelling of his own life, like I never got the feeling that that it was an older man that was writing in the voices of the young. So that was really cool. And then what I also like is that even at the very very last two chapters, Stephen King manages to give us a bombshell. I'm not gonna spoil it, but if you guys have already read it, you know what I'm talking about, and it, it is about Jamie himself and. Possibly, his um, you know what I will spoil a little bit is about his dad. So it's interesting, and um, uh, and there are some a few little loose ends that he has there about the the violent ghost, the one that is a little unlike others. And so you know what I think? What、well, I think that this will be a really good book for a TV show. I feel like this book has a very strong base for、uh, base to start off with the TV show because let's face it, we started off from Jamie's when he was six years old. You could have a whole season on that, and then you could keep going up, and then you know you could have another season on on、um, Liz, the dirty cop,、uh, using. Jamie, and then he's now an adult, but his gift is not going away. His gift is still there. You can keep on going for a while. So I really think that this book is a great book for a TV show. And you know, we also get to see things like humanity desperation for, for um, you know, their personal freedom or whatever they are striving for, right? Like even though his mom didn't believe his gift, she was desperate enough to use him. Um, for to get the information out of Richard Thomas' ghost, and then Liz, even though she has her own skepticism, she, being a dirty cop that she is, still end up using Jamie for her crimes. So you know, on one hand, Jamie has this gift that is amazing, right? Like he has this power that he can communicate, and then these ghosts can tell him information that that. Other people can't, and and they can't lie. So you know, if they're bad people, they're gonna tell him the whatever they were planning. But at the same time, as a Jay, as Jamie,、uh, you know, it's also a curse because you have people just taking advantage of you, and then you care about these people. So on one hand, you understand that that you're saving humanity in some sort, in some kind of form. But at the same time, it sucks that. People don't believe you unless they're desperate enough to use you. Like, isn't that a sucky feeling? I feel like that's a sucky feeling for me. You know, it is. It is a sucky feeling to have, and I wouldn't want to be in Jamie's situation. I will tell you that. And then, you know, compared to other Stephen King's book, this book is a little less gruesome. I mean, he's still a phenomenal writer. I have only read like half a book of Stephen King before, and that. That was pretty gory and and scary, but this one is a little tame in my opinion. It kind of goes into the realm of mystery and suspense thriller rather than the paranormal that he usually writes about.、Uh, either that, or maybe I just need to read more his books and I have to form an opinion. So don't take my word for it. But、um, I definitely think that this is a fun book to read. This is very different from. Other books that we've been reading and we've been talking about because other books deals with more in depth issues like societal issues or you know humanity issues, but this this deals it with it a little bit. But the、uh, but the pace of this book is just very very different. I mean, it's pretty much an action book. Like it, the chapters are short and it's a very very easy book to read. I don't think that it was hard at all, and I think that that it flows very naturally. So that's pretty cool. Um, what would I give this book? I know I, you know I try to think about any criticism that I will have for this book, and I can't find any. So this is definitely a five out of five for me. I, it was really fun for me to read, and I'm pretty sure at some point in the future somebody is gonna pick up this book and turn it into a, either a movie or a a TV show. TV show will be probably be better because you can get to go in depth a lot more with Jamie and you know side characters. But a movie will work well as well. So who knows? I'm excited. 
Anyway, um, that's it for the book review. If you are still watching, thank you so much. And don't forget to check out our podcast because we go in a lot, a lot more depth with this book. So it's under the same name, I'll have it the shelves, and you know it's available anywhere that you listen. And you know, just reach out to us, give us a shout out, uh, give us a subscribe, like. Or if you have any questions, just reach out to us on Instagram because we're pretty active in there. Alright, guys, see you next time. Bye.